expect me to come from here, did you? Come on! Get in there! Woohoo! Yes! Yes! Now I can't see how that looked. And you also probably can't see me because I've gone incredibly blurry. Now, I don't know how that looks until I watch the video back. So, if that looks crap, and you can see the top of my, my, my cap, you can see the top of this brilliant uh, McLaren uh, Landon Norris hat, um, I'm going to look like a right, right tit. This is me right. Yeah, this is me right. <laughs> anyway, King Lewis Potter is the absolute goat, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoohoo! King Lewis Potter is the absolute goat. And you cannot tell me otherwise. I'm just trying to check the volume on the mic. There we go. I think that's a bit better. Yeah! Absolutely excellent, absolutely excellent from uh, from Keen Lewis Potter. Two Keen Lewis Potter goals gave Hull City a 2-0 victory against Oxford in a game that was balanced on a knife edge. We had to... We had to get... Um, we had to get the win, especially as other results around us went our way. Such as Lincoln losing to bottom of the league, Rochdale and Doncaster drawing with Northampton, another team inside the relegation places. We now cannot be overtaken and caught by Lincoln. We needed to pull another two points on them to not worry about their games in hand. We now have a one point gap if they win both of their games in hand. In terms of Doncaster, because they drew, we got the win. We pulled the two points we need to pull on them. And if I just take a look at um, the goal difference quickly, as it stands, if every single team, if Doncaster... We, and if Doncaster and us win all of our remaining games this season, we will be on level points when games in hand come into effect. They have four games in hand on us. They are... Hang on. I've got the maths wrong. I've got the maths wrong, I think. Four games in hand, the gap, 12. We need to pull four more points on them. We need to pull four more points on them. Um, to be safe. Uh, but our goal difference... Their goal difference is 12. Ours is 32. We should be safe from that assault. It now looks as though it will be us and Peterborough that go up. Peterborough have three games in hand. Um, on uh, on us. And Peterborough have gained an extra game in hand as Portsmouth um, versus Salford. Last season's Papa John's final um, have been played today. Their game has then been moved into the midweek. That game, as I'm recording, is currently nil-nil in extra time. Once I finish recording this, I'll probably stick the penalty shootout on and have a little look at that. And then, yeah, Sunderland haven't played today either. They're, the, the, this season's Papa John's Trophy final is tomorrow, so they will be playing in that. So, yeah. Um, in terms of the actual game, then unchanged team, only change to the entire lineup was uh, um, Andy Smith dropped off the bench in place of 
in his place came Josh McGinnis. Uh, my overall assessment of the game, it could have been, we could have had so many more. We could have had so many more. But I don't mind. We got a 2-0 win. Keen Lewis Potter, three goals in two games for him. Mental, mental. Both of them come from a brilliant bit of Lewis Potter work. I mean, Keen, the first one, it's a brilliant ball from Louis Coyle on the edge of his own box. On the right hand side to find Keen Lewis Potter, crossfield ball on the left. Keen Lewis Potter, he could control Harry Maguire falling from Mount Everest an average speed of a thousand miles per hour. He could just take it on his uh take it on his right foot and it'd be all fine and dandy. Then in the second half see they're nearly scoring the first like twenty seconds. Um Adji just drove straight past Reese Burke and Ingram was forced into a save. Ingram was definitely the busier of the two goalkeepers, definitely. He made some fantastic saves. If Lewis Potter didn't score two, it would probably have been my man of the match. Because he he just kept us he just kept us going. He kept us He he kept us in the game. He kept us in the game. Chances we had that are notable. Um Malik Wilkes had one. There was a shout for a penalty on Louis Coyle. Couple, couple more as well. Just give us a, give us a, give us a hot second. Yeah. Um, yeah. The link, um, not Lincoln. Oxford made the better start. First ten minutes. Then we came into it. Uh, everything good that we did in this game came from Keen Lewis Potter. Let's be real. Malik Wilkes didn't have a great game. Gavin White wasn't full. wasn't really involved either. Honeyman and Doherty were very quiet as well. But we just kept we just kept going forward. Doherty got the assist for the second one, in which Keen Lewis Potter just drove and drove and drove, and it took a little deflection into the back of the net. Is his? I'm certain is his. But Greasy's goal got took off him against Doncaster and was given to McGuinness. So you never know. Week's break. Don't expect any uh, any content throughout the next week. Maybe a few Kareem Hood episodes. But um, exam season. <laughs> exam season. Um, I've got a I've got a maths uh, maths mock coming up. I, I know my first week back at school and I've been told about exams. I've got a coursework deadline. For next week as well, so I just need a, I just need a, a week to chill and get it all done, get it done before Wednesday and Thursday night. Preview graphics sorted. Right, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll see you later. Goodbye.